Hey, and welcome to Vid Society. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your own membership website for selling your own course or your own product. And you can do this free through this uh, system that I want to be showing you here. This is something that I have a subscription to and I use for the majority of all of my courses that I sell online. And you can check it out here at uh, mysystemio.com. I'll put that link below the video also if you want to come here and sign up for a free account to start creating your own membership site. And what I absolutely love about this platform is it has everything you need in one place, including a sales funnel builder, an email marketing system where you can send unlimited emails to your clients or your customers. It has a website builder and affiliate program management, business automation, evergreen webinars, online course builder, a place where you can create blogs and sell your own products. Now, all you have to do to sign up for free is enter your email address in this box. They're going to send you an email to confirm. Once you confirm, you're going to be able to set up a password and log in to your account. So once you're ready to log in, you're going to come up here and click on sign in. Now, once you're logged in, you want to come over here to your little profile image, go to settings, and you want to fill out your information here. And you can see on the left hand side, there are a lot of other options. We're not going to be going through everything here. I'm just going to show you how easy this can be to set up your own membership site. But if you do decide to upgrade your plan, you will get even more features and more options down through here. So the first thing you want to do when you're ready to start is you're going to come up here and you're going to click on funnels. And then you're going to click on create. Now you're going to give your funnel a name. We'll just call this one my course. And then you have a funnel domain. So by default, it's going to use system.io's own domain, but you can add your own custom domains and use those instead, like I do with many of my products. And then we're going to come down here and click on which of these options we want to use. So first of all, you can build an opt-in page to build an audience. You can build an order form page to sell a product or a service. You can build a custom funnel from scratch, which is what we're going to do or you can even run an evergreen webinar if you are subscribed to a higher plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on custom and we're gonna change from Euro to US dollar and click save. Now that we have this funnel set up, we're gonna click on it. And the first thing we have to do is set up a page. So we're gonna click on add step. We're gonna give it a name and we're gonna call this sales page. And then we're gonna choose the type of a page this is. So if we click this, you can see that there's different types of templates we can choose from, from opt-in forms to sales pages, upsells, downsells, webinars, even info and contact pages. But we're going to create a sales page, so I'm going to click on that and click Save. Next, we're presented with a lot of different templates that we can use. And this makes it so easy to get started fast on building a website. For example, this one here is the one that I use. Let's, let me preview this one. This is one that I use to set up a theme for my WordPress themes. So if we were to jump over here to my done for you WordPress themes page, you can see where I have this all set up through this one template. Now what I'm going to do for this one is this one here I haven't seen. So this must be a new one they added. Let's preview it. It even has a little pop up box here you can edit. And this here looks pretty nice. So let's go ahead and use that. So I'm going to close this and we're going to choose select. Now we have a sales page. So what we can do is we can come over here and click on the edit page and we can edit this simply by clicking and editing or dropping and dragging. This is actually one of the easiest editors that I've used on a funnel builder or a web page editor. You can see as you hover over everything, it gives you the option up here to click on the settings button where you have all different kinds of options to edit everything on the page. For text, all you have to do is double click in the box. You can edit any of the text. You can bold it, italicize it, underline it, change the color, or even link it. And the same way with up here in this section, you can see as you hover over different things that it allows you to click it and edit it. If we scroll on down here, you can see that here's an image. If we click on the image, it's going to bring up additional options for us to change that, to even change the image size however we want to, to align it, to blur it, add shadows, and more. And if we look over here on the elements page, you can see all the options you have of dropping and dragging and editing the pages. Also, if we click on blocks, 
we're going to find some pre-made blocks for opt-in forms, features, page footers, and more. So for example, if we wanted to add a pricing plan to this, we could click on price plans. Let's say I want to add a pricing plan right underneath this section here. I can simply come over here and drag it and drop it where I want it. And we now have a pricing plan that we can just click on and edit to fit our needs. Now, once you're done, you're going to click on save and exit. Now you'd also want to add an order page and a thank you page for whatever it is that you're selling. So you want to click on add step again, and then under name, we're going to call this order form or order page. And then we're going to choose from the drop down. We're going to come down to order form and click save. And now we're going to choose an order form we want to use for this. Let's do this one right here. It looks really nice. Let's preview it. Okay, so I like this one. They've actually added quite a few of these since I've last used them. So we'll go ahead and click on select. And on this page now, we can set up affiliate commissions. We can add a sell limit if we want to. We can choose the offer type if it's a digital or physical product the resources they get access to. We can create pricing plans and even coupons for it. Now, since we haven't created the membership site just yet with the course, we can't set this up just yet. So we're gonna come over here and click save. And next over here, we're gonna create a thank you page. So we're gonna click on add step. We'll name it thanks, click type, and we're gonna scroll down to the thank you page right here and click save. Now we're gonna pick a template for the thank you page. I'll just go ahead and select this one here. And once again, all these pages, you can select individually and you can come over and click on edit to edit them. So now we have our sales page, our order form and our thank you page done. We now need to set up the membership site. So to do that, we're gonna come over under products and sales, click on courses. And from here, we're gonna click on add a new course. And we're gonna fill out these details. So I'm just gonna name mine, my course one, put a little bit of a description in here. I want it to be English. Remember, you can use one custom domain here with the free account, or you can just simply use this here that they have, and you don't even have to worry about it, but you can add a URL path here if you want. And then for the theme, I like the black one. So I'm gonna come down and click black. You can change the font. I like Montserrat, so we're gonna choose this one. You can put your name in here as the instructor. You can also add a logo and an image. And then down here at the bottom, it says choose your sales page. So this is the funnel we just created. I'm gonna click on that and choose my course. That's what we set up. And then choose a funnel step. So we're gonna click this and choose sales page. That's where it's gonna take us to if we click on this course. Click save. Now that we have that set up, we can start adding our modules to the course. So if we click on add module, I'm just gonna call this lessons and click save. So now we have our module called lessons and what we can do now is add lessons underneath of this. So let's click on add lecture and we'll call this lesson one. And then you have the option to delay your lectures. I'm not going to do that, but instead I'm going to add a page here. If we preview it, now it brings us to the editor where we can edit this lesson. And you can see here, you can change the video, you can change any of the text, you can delete it, and you can add any of this content that you see over here within your lessons. So I'm gonna keep this the way it is. We're gonna click save and exit. Now, let's say I want to have multiple lessons under this. What I can do is come over here and click duplicate. And let's just duplicate this a few times. Let's say we have a total of four lessons under this module. So what we can do here is we can come in and edit this now. I'm gonna click on this gear icon and we're gonna delete this and this is gonna be lesson two. And then we'll change this one to lesson three and change this one to lesson four. And we can continue adding more modules and lessons within this course. So if we wanted to, we could come up here and add another module say module two and save it. And then we could add lessons under that. So let's duplicate this one. We'll click this arrow and then drag this one underneath of module two, and then we'll rename it. And we'll just say this is lesson number five and click save. Once you have all of your modules and lessons added, you then have to publish them. So let's say you want this one to show up. You can click it, confirm it, 
And then if you want to view your course, you can come up here and click on view. So by viewing it, you can see your lessons here, the ones that you have published that your viewers can view and each of the lessons here with everything that you've added and edited. So if we decide to publish all of these, we can view again. And now you have all of your lessons here in your course and they can simply click on each one of them or click previous and next and clear at the bottom. There's even a button they can mark them as complete showing how much of the course they've already completed. Once all that is set up, you want to come back and go to your funnels, click on your funnel you just set up. And then we're going to go to the order page because we have to tell it what to give the customers access to after they purchase. So down here, you're going to see under resources, we're going to click on the plus sign, click on select a resource. We're going to give them access to a course. Then we get to choose the course, which is the one we set up here called my course one. And then you can choose the type of access they get. So if you click on this, you can give them full access to the course, partial or drip. If you choose partial access, and if you have multiple modules set up, you can choose just to give them partial access to specific modules. That way you can offer upsells if they purchase those, then they can get access to the additional modules. But for this one, we're just going to go ahead and give them full access. And then you can set up your own pricing plans and even coupons. So to set up a pricing plan, you would first have to connect to a payment gateway, which currently they have these ones available. And then you can set up your coupons. So the way it would work is the customer would come to the sales page. When they click on the order link, it would redirect them to the order page. And then they'll be redirected to the thank you page where you can have your own custom message on there if you want. But System.io will automatically send them an email explaining how they can access this course from your membership site. There's a lot of other things you can do within this platform, such as managing contacts, having multiple funnels, sending emails, creating blogs, and even setting up automation rules. So certain things happen or trigger when you have customers who either buy or refund or opt in where you can automate emails to be sent to them. If we come back and hover over products and sales, you can see you can also add physical products. You can add coupons. You can see all orders, transactions, or even subscriptions that you have set up. If you have affiliates promoting for you, you can see their invoices here, which you can pay every month. You can also set up course bundles, view all of your students, create communities for your customers and edit your affiliate program settings here. If you want to upgrade your account, you simply come up here, click on upgrade your account. It's going to show you all three plans, the free one here, everything that you have included with it. And then under the startup, you can see it is only $27 a month and you can have up to 10 sales funnels within this first plan alone. They also have an unlimited plan that's only $97 a month, which is a fraction of the cost of some of these other funnel builders and everything is unlimited. But if you choose to pay annually, it comes to $828 a year, which is only $69 a month to have unlimited access to contacts, funnels, membership sites, emails, and a whole lot more. I've used just about every type of funnel builder out there, including ClickFunnels, BuilderAll, and I've created hundreds of WordPress websites and membership sites. But never have I found a system like System.io that is so affordable and has everything in one place, saving me literally hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a month. So if you're wanting to build a membership site or to sell any type of a course, training, or even physical products, sign up for their free account. Check it out yourself. I really don't think you will be disappointed. If you guys like these types of videos where I go in and do in-depth reviews of different types of online products and software, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys on the next video.